Do you know how to tell the time in English? Hey Daniel, wake up. It's time to teach another class. This is not the right time for snoozing. Uh, oh my god, Sean, it's half past six. What's wrong with you, dude? Hurry up, Daniel. You have to be at the office by seven o'clock. Just on time. Thanks for showing up. What happened to you? You almost missed today's recording. Did you forget that I work the graveyard shift? Running a school and having a full time job is no easy feat, my friend. Oh, man. I'm sorry. Are you all right, though? Oh, don't worry about it. So, what's up for today? Let's teach the students how to tell the time today. You woke up at 6 30 a.m. We can use that as an example. Well, half past six is way too early, but yeah, we can use that as an example. Let's start from 6 a.m., as from then on, the pattern is exactly the same. If you want to know the time, just ask, What time is it? Telling the time in English is very easy. Just pay attention to the following standard. Look at the clock. Every time it's pointed to the right side, just say the minutes past the current hour. So, in this case, that would be it's five past six, it's ten past six, it's a quarter past six, it's twenty past six, it's twenty five past six, it's half past six. And when it's pointed to the left, instead of saying past the current hour, say the minutes to the next hour. So that would be it's five to seven, it's ten to seven, it's a quarter to seven, it's twenty to seven, it's twenty five to seven. However, you can use the classic way. So it would be perfectly fine for you to say 6 10 a.m., 6 15 a.m., 6 20 a.m., 6 25 a.m. 6 30 a.m. and so forth. A.m. is used from 0 o'clock until 11 59 in the morning, and then p.m. is used from 12 o'clock until 11 59 in the afternoon slash evening and at night. I have an appointment at 8 30 a.m. So, I have to go now. See you some other time. Thanks for watching.